Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of personal financial literacy, fixed and variable expenses. This is standard 4.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a problem here and there's not any addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. We just need to know a little bit about how money works. So some people borrow money to buy cars, which is very common. Uh, I am per currently borrowing money to pay for the cars that I'm driving in my family because it takes a lot of money if you want to buy them straight out. So a lot of people do borrow money to buy cars. That makes uh, very, very much sense here. They have to make car payments to m pay back the money they borrowed. So we're trying to figure out what type of expense a car payment is. So most car payments, there's going to be a few exceptions, but most car payments are going to fit into either one of these categories. So we've got fixed expenses, And then we've got variable expenses. So let's look at a few examples. So fixed expenses, fixed, when something is fixed, right? It could mean that we've repaired something that's broken, but that's not exactly the definition we're looking at here. Sometimes we might fix something to a wall or we might fix uh, something so that it doesn't move anymore. And so it, when we're saying something is a fixed expense, it stays the same. It doesn't vary widely. So when something varies widely, we call it variable. So when something is a variable, it changes. It could be high, could be low. So for example, uh, for most people, uh, a water bill is going to be variable because it is going to be, uh, it's going to change based on how much water you use, how little water you use. Now, for, uh, there is something, uh, this electricity bill can actually be a little bit of both. So if you just pay for the electricity pay um, per month, that's going to greatly change. Your electricity bill is going to be really high in the summer, probably pretty low in the winter, but it could be fixed because sometimes you can work out something to where you pay the same each month and it evens out for the entire year. So it really just depends on whether your payments change or not. So your grocery bill is definitely variable. It's going to change because each month it's going to be slightly different based on the groceries and the food that you buy. Whereas uh, for most people, a mortgage home payment is going to stay the same or it's going to be uh, you know maybe your rent it might change once a year but for the most part every single month it's the same so let's go back to our car payment here and let's see if we can figure out which of these answers is correct so car payments so let's say for most of us let's say you get a twenty thousand dollar car and so usually what they'll do is they'll charge you monthly and so it, let's say they do five years. So that means 60 months, that's 60 payments, right? So what they would do is they would take your $20,000. You have to pay a little bit of tax and title and license and a little bit of interest, but then they would end up just dividing that big amount, whatever that happens to be, 20,000 plus a little bit extra divided by 60. And then you pay it out over those 60 months. And by the end of the five years, you've paid it off. So variable expense, because the amount usually changes. Well, variable expenses definitely do change every month, but if we're going to take our big amount and just divide it by 60, I don't think it's going to change. It's going to be the same every single month. B, variable expense, because the amount is not due every month. No, it is due every month, so that doesn't help us. So it looks like we're going to be doing a fixed expense. Fixed expense, because the amount is usually the same every month. Yeah, that looks pretty good because if I just take my total amount and divide it by 60 or divide it by 72, however many months, that would work. Let's look at D. Fixed expense because the car is usually paid after one month. I wish. Nope, our answer here is C.